Good morning, dear children. So, welcome to the English Online class for today. Today, we are going to start with the poem from the unit three, section C. Name of the poem: "How They Brought Her Warrior Dead" by Alfred Lord Tennyson. The name of the poet: Alfred Lord Tennyson. Okay, he has written a very lovely emotional and a heart touching poem showing the emotional feelings of a family of a wife of a lady when she saw the dead body of her husband and had gone into a shock right at going to a shop unexpected news was there for her okay so when i'm talking about the warrior warrior are the one who do their selfless work selfless work they are the one who are the warrior we can say yodha who are there to protect and do and save the life of others the real warriors are the army people they are the one who are standing in the border areas and protecting us today we the indians are enjoying the festival enjoying the occasion save that thing is just because of these warriors they are standing right out in the hot temperature of 50 degree 55 degree in the desert area you go to jashmeer that border area where temperature goes 55 degree 60 degree the standing day and night even the cool areas where the temperature is goes minus degree still they are standing day and night protecting us they are the real warriors so during this pandemic which we have gone this we are facing covid 19 the real warriors were the heroes were the the doctors the team of doctors the nurses the compounder who were saving their life and also the volunteers those who protecting us they are the real warriors now let's start the poem poem is home they brought her one day home uh, the dead body has come to the house of the warrior of this family they over here is the army the the, the, the company of the where they was working and they have come to and in the inside the coffin box there was the body of the warrior and when the body when the coffin box box was brought how the poet start whom they brought her warrior dead she no sweet On our uttered cry, means there was not a single drop of tears were in the eyes of the lady, the wife, whose dead body was lying. Not a single drop. A boon ke aasu nahi the us lady me. Stiff thi, stacky ki tarah stiff ho gayi thi. Isme jata tha ki uske khun nahi baat baati me. After her maidens watching said. She must be, or she will die. Maidens means the neighbor, the relative, the helpers, the near ones. Those who come for the condolences. They were sitting, and they were crying. Others were crying, except that lady, the wife, was sitting and just quietly and what? So they were saying, if she will not cry, she will go into depression, or she will be in a problem. So she must be. We means cry. She must be there. She must cry because her husband is no more. But there still there was not a drop of tears in her eyes. And others were worried. They were trying to tell her that your husband is no more. He is dead. But still there was no response. Then they praised him soft and low. Then they they over here the near and dear were the friends, those who know the warrior very well. They praised him, प्रशंसा करने लगे उसकी, with a very soft voice. 
वो धीमे आवाज से वर्थ दी में प्रेजिंग कॉल हिम वर्थ दी टू बी लव वर्थ दी मींस ट्रस्टी ट्रू पर्सन ही इज द वर्थी प्रेस हिज पीपल कैन बिलीव हिम ब्लाइंडली एंड ही वाज लव्ड बाय एवरीवन whether he was in his company in army and whether he was in house neighbors everyone had love and respect for this warrior truest friend and noblest soul he was a noblest person a true and honorable man he was the man who was dead his body was lying in the coffin box people are praising him giving him the qualities the quality that he was having he was a trustworthy person he was a true friend he was an honorable man person so this this quality was was there with that and he was loved by everyone but a small elder in his village in his village in his town yet she neither spoke nor moved after praising her also there was no response from that wife she was stiff like a statue stand sitting in front of her husband but there was still no eye tears and people wanted her to cry so that she can bring her emotions out if she will not cry she might also go in shock she might go in depression and that can be a problem they wanted her to cry so what happened third standard said stole a maiden from us first stole means she got up and took few steps and went near to the dead body of the warrior where he was being wrapped with a cloth okay and then she the lady she the helper she took the cloth from the face of the warrior so that by looking the face of her husband she should cry that's why what she, she took the face cloth from the face took the face cloth means the body was wrapped with okay with the with the cloth okay and then just the face part was removed from the warrior face so that maybe she thought now when looking at the face of the warrior the dead body of husband she might cry now and now yet she neither moved nor wept and then again she did not cry so people were trying to make her cry but the, the reason why so that she, she can bring her emotional out right we have seen uh, i have personally seen that when there is a dead body with, is there lying of someone when you are a husband or a wife or daughter has been or children and then people become very stiff and they are go out of sense they don't they so what happened they slap on their face to make the person cry so that the emotions comes out brings them out so that was they trying to do to by showing the face of the husband while but there was no tears in her eyes rose a nurse of 90 years rose means the past participle past tense so the lady of 90 years she got up from her place and what she did said his child his child meant the warrior's child the warrior's child was kept on the lap of of that upon her knee where that lady was sitting and looking at her husband's dead body was no emotional no feeling no movement were there people tried to make a cry by telling her that this man the one who we have lost it's a really something we have a huge loss in the life a big loss he is a man who is true trust for the honorable love of everyone still did not cry by looking at the dead body of the still they were not cry the driver died of the lady why the lady got up and tried to move the and she, she moved the piece of cloth from the face of the warrior but still there was no cry but then at last a 90 year old nurse a nun she got up from her place took the child the baby of the warrior they had and kept on the lap of the lady of the wife and the moment it kept the moment it was when the lady saw the child face the baby face the, the newborn baby a newborn baby was was there and when that baby was kept on the lap 
on her knee. Then came out the tears like a tempest. So here, tempest means the thunderstorm is compared with tears of the eyes of the lady. It's called as a metaphor. The little device the use compared as life. We have similarly and we have metaphor. Similarly as metaphor life. So we, both these are metaphor devices where it is comparison. Where it's a comparison. He is as soft as cotton. So is a skill. He is, he is as brave as lion. So he has a simile. Here the poet has compared the tears of the lady to the tempest, tempest thunderstorm. So with like a thunderstorm, there were tears in the eyes of the lady when the 90-year-old lady she got up and kept that small newborn baby on her lap. And the moment she saw the baby, she cried, she started crying. And then the last statement was from the lady from the wife, sweet my child, I live for thee. This was the spoken said. Now the lady thought that she also wanted to die, she also didn't want to live. But the moment she saw the baby's face, the her baby's face, then she said, I live for thee. Means I live for you, my child. Now my life is going to be with you, I am going to be with you. And then she started crying. So at last she cried only when, when she saw the face of her child and then she realized she has to live for her baby, for her child. So the body is dead, the dead body of the body was lying in her front of her but still there were no tears. She was in shock, unexpected news. Right? This is the poem, a very emotional and heart touching poem the poet has tried to depict. The feeling of a family, of a wife, that when suddenly they get this type of news, what is the emotional? How would the emotional come out? So this is a very nice poem. I hope you understood. I have given the notes in the PDF, in the document section. Copy it, note down. Still, you have doubt, do contact me and let me know. Thank you. God bless you.